Tree identification number 16, we're going to look at some shorter needle pines and then mid-range needle pines. Uh, we've got the pitch pine, pond pine, shortleaf pine, spruce pine, and Virginia pines. And just to review, to remember that pines are distinguished a lot by their number of needles per bundle or fascicle. Um, but also by their cones, size and shape of their cones, and also by the size and color of their buds. So let's start off and look with look at the pitch pine. The pitch pine has longer needles that grow in bundles of three, as you can see right here. Um, you see those bundles of three. Um, the needles are going to be roughly three to five inches long. And when they're connected to the stem, as you can see here, um, the needles come out at right angles and they're kind of whirled around that stem. The pitch pine is known as Pinus rigida. Again, those needles you can see whirling at the right angles. They're going to be typically yellow green in color. When we look at the bud of the pitch pine, uh, you can see that there's a lot of resin or the bud is covered in pitch, hence the name pitch pine. Okay. So that bud that's really um, covered in pitch. And a unique feature about the pitch pine is it is one of the two pines that sprouts from the trunk and the stump. Okay. When we look at the cones for the pitch pine, you can see they're kind of egg-shaped, um, but they're going to have these rigid spines on them. Hey, and this one's lost some of them, but you can see that cone is pretty distinct. It will look similar to the pond pine, but we'll look at some features um, of the pond pine cone as well. So this is the pitch pine, Pinus rigida. Up next, we have the pond pine. As we see here, again, um, average to longer needles, the pond pine as you can see, has three needles per fascicle or per bundle that are roughly six to eight inches long. The needles can grow directly from the trunk in mats, okay, and that dark yellow-green in color. Then when we look at the cone, again, pond pine is Pinus serotina, the cone is a serotonous cone, meaning that it stays closed for longer than your typical cone um, for longer periods, uh, and it will only open due to maturity or age or some environmental factor like fire or really um, hot period of the year. Remember that the pitch pine was stalkless. This is the pond pine, and you can see right here, it has a stalk. So a, a good way to tell those two apart that are sometimes difficult to um, identify from one another. So that is the pond pine, Pinus serotina. Okay, third, we will look at the spruce pine. Scientific name, Pinus glabra. The spruce pine is going to have really dark green needles and as you see depicted here on the table um, they're going to be mainly two needles per fascicle but again it's an S pine so if you're looking on this limb you could sometimes see three but S pines two to three needles per fascicle you'll notice that these are slightly twisted um, <clears throat> but they're an inch and a half to three inches long, and they're typically dark green. When we're looking at the cones, 
as you can see on this limb. We've got a couple of different looking cones, some that are a little bit more immature than others, but it's going to have a pretty small cone. <clears throat> typically an inch and a half to two and a half inches long. And then the bark itself on these twigs is typically smooth, while the bark on the trunks resembles that of a hardwood. So this is spruce pine, has that short needle, inch and a half to three inches long, dark glossy green, Pinus glabra. Up next we have another S pine and another shorter needled pine. This is the shortleaf pine. So being an S pine you're going to see there we've got two needles per fascicle. Um, but you can also when you look on here you might find one with three needles per fascicle. Okay, but that two needles per fascicle, or two to three needles per fascicle, roughly three to five inches in length, somewhat dark in color. <clears throat> and then you'll have the pine cones here that are a pretty spiny cone. These are a little bit older, um, but they're going to be kind of spiny. They are smaller also. Uh, typically one and a half to two and a half inches in length. And that makes up the cone. Now, the scientific name, Pinus echinata, means spiny cone. Okay. Um, another interesting feature about the shortleaf pine is that it has platy like bark when you're looking at the standing tree that might be a feature that you can distinguish between something else that platy like or some people refer to it as alligator like bark um, and it also is the only tree in georgia that has pitch tubes in the bark naturally occurring pitch tubes um, and that resin will seep out those pitch tubes so that is the shortleaf pine pinus echinata The last shorter needle pine we will look at in this video is going to be the Virginia pine, Pinus virginiana. You can see Virginia pine has two needles per fascicle. Um, they're going to be short, yellow green to a darker green in color, an inch and a half to three inches long. And then when you look at their cones, they're also going to be a similar size to the short leaf that we saw a minute ago. Pretty small cone, but the distinct feature that you will be able to tell apart from the short leaf is that it has a seed imprint on this cone. So if you look inside where the seed would be that lets out, there's an imprint of it or a lighter colored portion that you can tell apart. Okay, so Virginia pine, Pinus virginiana, that one and a half to three inch long needle that is twisted. Um, looks like you took that tip and you just twisted it around. Uh, makes up the Virginia pine. So let's review these five pines that we've looked at in this video. First, we had this species. Remember it had that whitish pitch on there um, with the needles kind of whirling around and coming off at 90 degree angles. That's pitch pine. Three needles per fascicle on the pitch pine. And then we saw this guy. Okay. So we had again three needles per fascicle. We had a cone that was egg shaped, somewhat glossy with a stem pond pine. Third, we looked at this species of pine, which had twisted needles, 
had a smaller cone, those twisted dark green needles, a little bit stiffer, a little bit longer than, say, the Virginia pine, okay? But this is the spruce pine. Then we looked at this pine, these needles not twisted, uh, another S pine, two to three needles per fascicle, okay, with a smaller size cone, but those straight needles help differentiate it between the last one we saw, which was the spruce pine. This is the shortleaf pine. And then last we looked at a very short needle pine, okay, the needles were twisted two needles per fascicle. We saw the seed imprint with the cone, all right? Pinus virginiana or Virginia pine. And those are the five trees, the five pines in tree identification number 16.